Hearts. Waiting around to die. Towns Van Zant tune from O Spring. Miss Lonely Hearts and Petunia and the Waves, I believe, are at, are at uh, Crick Place tomorrow night. Why I Love It with a, with a Towns cover. Loretta wears them sevens on her sleeves. I wonder what that means. We don't know. I actually I, I consulted the Oracle. And? He doesn't know. So. Nobody knows why he wrote that. Hmm. Lance Canales. If you do know that, email it or text us because uh, we have a guest going to be here in the studio with us in just a minute. Then, and then after him, there's going to be something a little extra. Uh, yes, mean, it's called Lania. 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 Down in the bayou, Lania up is a little something extra. And the music from Louisiana always seems to have it. On Friday mornings at 9, KZSC's Lania Up Collective always has a little something extra from Louisiana for you. Tune in to Lania Up Friday at 9 to noon and let the good times roll on 88.1 FM KZSC. And Lani will be running Lani Up today, and she's got a, always has something extra. She brings in more food to this campus than anybody. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now, anything else we got to do? No, nah, that's it for now. Well, let's let's turn our attention to Stephen Ken joining us live in the studio on Bushwhackers Breakfast Club. Good morning, Stephen. Good morning. Oh, to wait, you. wait, 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 wait! I got to press the proper buttons. Oh, why start now? <laughs> <laughs> it's only been twenty nine years, four yeah. months, and change, right? So there we go. Now we got you. You got the right buttons. Now. I do. Yeah. People yeah. say I've been pressing people's buttons for years. <laughs> We, he meant to press the eject button. And that would send you right out of <laughs> through, the through the roof. Through the roof. <laughs> Woo -hoo. So you you uh, you you've got a tour right now, Cash and King. That's correct. Uh, Johnny Cash, Elvis Presley, two shows, kind of in one. We do two sets. We do uh, a full set of Johnny Cash music. Take a break. Come back and do uh, do the King. And, uh, you do it solo. You got a band with you. We got a whole band, six-piece group, wow, big and band. Uh, you know, wear, backup singers, the whole thing. So John was wondering, do you wear a black jumpsuit so you <laughs> not have to do any costume changes? <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, you know, it's not an impersonator show. That's the most important thing, and it's that's very hard to uh, explain to people a lot of times because people get it in their minds. You know, anytime you're, you know, you're doing. Elvis songs, they, they're thinking sideburns and white jumpsuit, you know. Exactly. <laughs> and, and, uh, for the older Elvis for songs. The, yeah, <laughs> right. But we, you know, we, this is just a, a real hot band. Our versions of, of their music, we're not trying to sound like them, we're not trying to look like them. Uh, I met both of these guys in my life, and I have stories to tell about that, and stories to tell about the songs. And, uh, People find it very interesting. They well, told me. Well, why don't you do, do that? Do the, the, one of the stories you tell and then play the song that you would tell that story with. Can well, you do that? Yeah, I, I, I guess I can. You know, I, you know, one of the things that's amazing to me about both of these artists, well, number one, they're probably... Johnny Cash and Elvis Presley are probably the two most influential... Uh, artists of the 20th century uh, going into the 21st century even you know they will tell Paul McCartney that he was so pissed <laughs> off <laughs> well but in actuality there would not be a Paul McCartney if there wasn't Johnny Cash and Elvis Presley More than likely. and he would be the first person to tell you that uh, Elvis sold more records than anybody on uh, ever uh, there, the records that he did uh, will never be broken uh, just never be broken. Johnny Cash and Elvis are known in every single corner of the world. Uh, there's no place you can go that people don't know that guy by his first name, Elvis. Yeah, and Johnny right. Cash, the man in black. I mean, who doesn't know that, right? Uh -huh. And uh, so their music is so iconic. For example, uh, you know, all I have to do is play this. And you know exactly. It's Elvis Presley. <laughs> <laughs> oh, smart Alec, first thing. Right, that's sleepy. Yeah, yeah. yeah right. I'm not very good in the afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, it, but it's true. It, 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 it's so recognizable, so iconic, and uh, it's just, uh, it's a lot of fun to do. It's a dream of mine. I was in Sun Records in Memphis, Tennessee, one time and I was looking at the pictures of Jerry Lee and Carl Perkins and all these guys on the wall and uh, I just 
you know, it's hallowed ground for me. You know, oh, Memphis absolutely. is the single most important spot in popular music. There is there is no place that can rival it. Uh, everything started there. B.B. King was there. Elvis, Johnny Cash, Jerry Lee Lewis, Carl Perkins, Roy Orbison, Conway Twitty, Charlie was Rich. Conway from there? Conway <laughs> started at Sun Records. Yeah, he was. He, he wrote songs for... I you didn't know, know that. Yeah. Did he get his hair do there too? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure he. That probably, came later. That came Just later. like Elvis's jumpsuit. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. Exactly. But yeah, it, I I love that Memphis made music, and I I looked up on the wall and I said, who are the two that would complement each other the best? And Cash and King just popped in my brain, because the Johnny Cash music is dark and moody and it sets a tone. And and then you switch gears to Elvis, and it's it's light and you know you know all shook up and you know all this sort of about. But he has his moments, Heartbreak Hotel, and those sort of things too. I mean, it's just there are no two artists that I can think of that cover such a wide range of music. Uh, it's it's impossible, and their fanship, rock and rollers, blues people, country people, gospel people. Everybody loves Johnny Cash and Elvis Presley at some point in, in the world, you know, so uh, it's just, it's a can't lose situation. <laughs> no. you know, Pick a good one. Yeah. Good. And that'll yeah. be tonight. Nope. No, tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow night. night. Tomorrow night. Real, Real theater. theater. Yeah. Eight eight right. Oh no, the Wiggles are there tonight. <laughs> the Wiggles are there tonight. <laughs> Whoever yeah, our, that is. The Wiggles are opening for you. <laughs> yeah. You know, we're we're sandwiched in between the Wiggles and the Kingston Trio. <laughs> oh, no. I, was, uh, I, I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, now, the Kingston Trio, diapers. not one of them alive, so it's sort of the same not, kind of show that right. they're doing. <laughs> right. But that's, that's another thing, too, is there's nowhere you can go and hear this music live. Uh, you know, that's especially by somebody who actually saw it live. You know, I'm sort of bringing what I saw and sharing it with people that never got to see it. And that's from an experience that a lot of people can't get. So that's one of the things. But uh, let's let's do a little uh, whatever you'd like. Little little Johnny Cash number. Uh, so here's one of the stories. I, I met Johnny Cash uh, a few times, and uh, the first time I met him was at Knott's Berry Farm in California. And I had a friend who played in his band, and I was uh, I always used to bug him. You know, I, I need to meet Johnny Cash. I need to meet Johnny Cash. And so. I saw him there beside the stage and I said, hey, today's the day I need to meet Johnny Cash. And he said, okay, turn around. And I turned around and Johnny Cash was standing right behind me and I just about fainted. And he put his hand out and he said, well, how you doing there, hoss? Mm -hmm. And uh, I'll never forget it. And later he said, um, asked me, he said, what's your favorite Johnny Cash song? We're gonna do it for you in the show. And I was like, oh, well, every single one. But if I, if I had to pick one, this is one that I always go to, and we do this in the show, and I think it's one of the most beautiful songs ever written. At my door the leaves are falling A cold, wild wind will come Sweethearts walk by together, but I still miss someone. I go out on a party and look for a little fun. All I find is a darkened corner. I still miss someone Well, I never got over those blue eyes I see them everywhere I miss those arms that held me When all the love was there and I wonder if she's sorry 
before leaving what we'd begun. There's someone for me somewhere, and I still miss someone. Yes, I still. Your sing along, <laughs> and that's going to happen at that show tonight. I mean, because well, everybody knows the lyrics to oh, all yeah. those songs. It's it's amazing to look out in the audience and just see the looks on the the faces of the people because you'll you'll start into a song and they'll go, oh yeah yeah yeah. You know, <laughs> yeah. It just, it's 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 just. It's well, all of them had so many iconic tunes, you know, that if you didn't know them, where have you been? Well, the hardest thing about doing this show is picking 15 songs for each set because the catalog of these two artists is unsurpassed. I mean, you can't even, it, it, nobody can even come close to the catalog of these two artists. Well, so Johnny Dee Cash Dee. still has so many unreleased unreleased yeah unreleased a lot of that songs. rick rubin stuff that yeah, they recorded absolutely. towards the end yeah. 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 Doing it, yeah. doing it. but one of my favorite songs of his is the last studio song that he that ever put out and uh, while he was alive and the last song on that album was uh We'll meet again. Don't know where. Right. Don't know when. We'll meet again. Oh, don't man. know where. I know. Every time I hear that, it gives, I, me, goosebumps. It gives me goosebumps. I'm in tears. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. how do you pick the song? Do you grab something old, something new, bold and blue? You know, or? we change the set list from time to time just to kind of keep keep me excited because some of my favorite Johnny Cash songs or Elvis songs are not the big hits. Um, so we throw in a few deep cuts every now and then. Good. We, we do. Hey, and, keep them on the uh, toes. But of course, all the big ones are there. You know, I Walk the Line, Sunday Morning Coming Down, Ring of Fire, of course. And Elvis, you know, Don't Be Cruel, Hound Dog, Jailhouse Rock, you know, all those things are, are all there. Now, Heartbreak um, Hotel uh, was written by a woman named Mae Axton. Yes, and I was friends with her son. Hoyt? Hoyt, yes. Hoyt was... Probably my favorite entertainer of all time. He was so wonderful and yeah. a great guy. I, um, you sound like you're from L.A. <laughs> <laughs> if, you know, I, if you met Hoyt. <laughs> I, I lived in L.A. for nine, ten years yeah. uh, during the 80s and hung out with at the Palomino Club in, right in around L.A. Right the corner from where I grew up. Yeah. So, Stephen, I, mean, I can't see you out there in Radio Land, but, you know, I'm looking at you. You, you, met, Johnny Ca you met Johnny Cash, you met Elvis Presley. It, you don't look old enough. Yeah, that's the first thing I said to him. Well, thank you. Uh, but I am. I was, I was 13 when I met Elvis in, in Las Vegas. And uh, I was so nervous. Uh, a friend of mine did two movies with Elvis. and uh, So uh, I was so nervous when I, when I met Elvis. And he just uh, put me at ease right away. Uh, I was shaking like a, a leaf, and I, was, and I said, "Pleased to meet you, Mr. P -p 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 Presley." And and he put his hand on my shoulder and he pointed at his father Vernon and he said, "When you're introduced to him, address him as Mr. Presley." And then he gave me a noogie on the head and said, "You call me Elvis." <laughs> and uh, it was like the weight of the world, you know jumped off my shoulder right and there. And you've never washed that spot of your head since. <laughs> well, my hair's falling out right there now, so... <laughs> well, but, but Elvis started it. But Elvis started it. <laughs> That's right, it, with so. that noogie. Yeah. How about, how about a, a deep Elvis cut for the Bushwhackers this morning? A deep Elvis cut. All right. Here, here's one that, that I do acoustically uh, quite often in the show because we haven't worked it up with, with the band. Um, and but you know one of these days we will. But I, I kind of do that sometimes. So we'll get requests a lot of times. People will come in, or just scream out a certain song, and uh, I I have to know it, you know. And so I'll just I'll play it for them or a little bit of it. But this is a song in in 1969. Elvis recorded. Uh, he had just done his uh, 68 special, the the TV special where he's in the black leather outfit and. Uh, it was called the Comeback Special. And so after that came Suspicious Minds and In the Ghetto and Don't Cry Daddy and Kentucky Rain and all those things. But one of the songs that he recorded during those sessions in Memphis at American Studios 
in Memphis, which was produced by Chips Moman, by the way. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, is a song called True Love Travels on a Gravel Road. And this is one of my favorite Elvis songs. And it's on that From Elvis in Memphis album from 1969. And it goes like this. How many girls choose cotton dress worlds when they could have satins and lace and stand by a man never once letting shame touch her face? Well, how many hearts could live through all the winters we've known and still not be cold? But yeah, it's it just a great song, and I, I, I love singing it, and I usually dedicate it to my beautiful wife. <laughs> and where is she? Yeah. Uh, she's standing oh, over, there. <laughs> over here. Anita. Hello. Hi, Anita. Glad to have you with us. Here <laughs> Written by Dallas Frazier Dallas Frazier. A.L. Owens. That's right. Yeah, yeah. That's right. Doodle Owens. Yeah. <laughs> two, two great Nashville guys. Yeah. The, yeah. In Chip's moment, of course. Yeah. Uh, we do... Occasionally we do some things like this here, but who we picked last time we did a tribute show was Guy Clark and Towns Van Zandt. Oh, wow, yeah. Talk about great songwriters. Yeah. So, I, and there's so, ma so many to, to do. And I think what you're doing is you've taken a very difficult road here to, to not trying to imitate them or dress like them or look like them, but people are so attached to those songs. And, it, you know, if you, if you do something wrong, They'll let you know about yeah. it. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, well, we've uh, every every audience we've ever played for has just come out blown away uh, because uh, I think because we bring to to this. Well, I bring to it a passion, obviously, of these two guys. I just I love their music. Uh, there's not a day that goes by that I don't listen to it uh, or play it, and. Um, Without the the kind of accoutrements, you know, the you know dressing in black with the big pompadour or the or the white jumpsuit or anything. Plus, you know, I don't want to wear the white jumpsuit because I I don't want people to you know come up to me and say, oh, you're doing the fat Elvis. The old Elvis. I don't I don't want that, you know. And, and we do a we we span their entire careers, both of them. And uh, from the 50s all the way up through the 70s. Do you take this out of the country? Have you taken it to Europe? You know, we Asia? haven't yet, but we've had some offers, and we're, we're looking at some logistics to do that because yeah, it's very difficult to move, you know, 10 people 
you know, in a, in a group. And but stuff. cheap. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, and make money. Or at least break yeah, even. And make, yeah, and, and, and break even. Because that's, you know, we, we uh, it's, it's about bringing the music to the masses. Uh, have, you, have you ever, and uh, this might sound weird, but it would seem to me that you, the, the floating cities where you, the, the cruise ships where they have these great <laughs> shows they put on, that that would be, that would be a, a, a perfect place for this. Well, that's, that's something else that, that, we're, um, that we're looking into. But, you know, uh, about, oh, 20, almost 15, 18 years ago or so, I was in Memphis during Elvis week. Ooh. Um, Bluff and, City. <laughs> yeah, and if, if anybody's ever been there, it's the most amazing thing that you'll you'll ever see because uh, people come from every corner of the world. You'll see guys in turbans, in jumpsuits. You'll see, uh, you know, it, it's just it's every it's just amazing. I saw this for the first time. I think it was two thousand and two. It was during the twenty fifth anniversary, and I went back to my hotel and I was so blown away by what I saw. People standing all night long to file past his grave with a candle. I, I wrote a song called uh, Would He Believe? And we do the song in the Elvis set. And it, it basically says, if Elvis were alive today, would he believe this? Would he believe that after all this time, no one can match his fame? And um, uh, I got to record it in Nashville and with the uh, Imperials mm. who sang with Elvis on his gospel albums and in Vegas. You mean the doo-wop group, the Imperials? No, no, no. The the, the 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 gospel Hall of Fame Grammy winning group. Oh, I don't. The the Imperials, the gospel yeah. group. Because it was a, a doo-wop group. At the well, there was yeah, there was yeah, but the the Imperials were uh, or still are uh, a very famous gospel group. And Terry Blackwood, who's a friend of mine, pr helped produce that album in Nashville with all the top Nashville guys, and they. You know the same guys that sing on you know the, the wonder of you and you know you don't have to say you love me and how great thou art on the yeah. elvis album are singing on my record and uh, so, do you, do, so do you when you release an album do you put cover these covers on the, the elvis and the johnny cash song you know on originally on on the dream and believe album that we did my idea was to to do what he believe and put some Elvis songs on there with it, but then it sort of morphed into something else. I have my own original songs yeah. on there that were kind of songs that I thought that that Elvis or Roy Orbison or those guys would have recorded. And in fact, there is a song on that CD that I that Roy Orbison was actually going to record, hmm. and unfortunately passed away before he could. No, could he could, that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, really. really. <laughs> Story of my life. If you're just joining us, you're listening to the Bushwhackers Breakfast Club with Stephen Kent, Cash and King tour tomorrow night, Rio Theater, eight o'clock. We got time for one more, Stephen. You want to play us uh, something? Your choice, Cash or King or Stephen? Well, let's do uh, let's do um, let's do a, a classic uh, Johnny Cash song for everybody here. Um, this is probably the. This is the one everybody waits for, uh, you know, all night long in the cash set. Well, I hear the train a coming, rolling round the bend. I ain't seen the sunshine since I don't know when. And I'm stuck in Folsom Prison, and time keeps dragging on. But that train keeps a rolling. Down to San Antonio. When I was just a baby, my mama told me, son, always be a good boy, don't ever play with guns. But I shot a man in Reno just to watch him die. And when I hear that lonesome whistle, hang my head and cry. Well, if they freed me from this prison, if that railroad train was mine. You know I'd move it on a little farther down the line Far from Folsom Prison, that's where I want to stay Well then I let that lonesome whistle Blow my blues away Down at Harvard.
Heartbreak Hotel, All baby. All right. <laughs> Saturday night. 8 o'clock, Rio Theater. Stephen Kent with Cash and King Tour. We're going to ask you to stick around here for a moment, yeah, and, yeah. and we'll ask you to yeah. join in, too, here. We have a special thing we do at the end of every show, so... It's sort of a religious experience, and uh, you'll you'll enjoy it. Okay. You'll get it right away. Do you want to? Should we do it now? It's never I've been covered inspired. by Roy Orbison. No. Do you Elvis want to read? Do we have other ones to read? Well, first? I just want to let people know that summer is upon us. Which is means, that right? Of course, Ocean Street is going to be down the parking lot on yeah. the nice <laughs> But on Friday nights, starting next week, not tonight, starting next week. So it's going to be free beach concerts. That's right. The bands that are going uh, to Cash Creek or one of those other casinos, yes. they, they swing through here on, on a Friday the night. The legacy bands. That's right. From June 15th through August 31st, you may enjoy these free Friday night concerts at the Santa Cruz Beach Boardwalk with top bands from the 70s, 80s, and 90s. The performances start at 6.30 and 8.30 p.m. Find out more info about the bands, when they're coming, and who's playing. Go to boardwalk, beachboardwalk.com slash concerts. You don't know any of them? They didn't... It's not listed yet, but we'll work on that. We'll get, well, that, we'll get that information. Okay. Yeah, so. Next week. Okay. I'll we'll have it for you. Stephen Kent, Cash and King, thanks for joining us here on the Bushwhackers Breakfast Club. Appreciate it. Thank you for having us. Rio Theater, 8 o'clock tomorrow. Go ahead. <clears throat> All right. So you, you'll know when to join in. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Are you, you ready? We're all ready. We're so ready. Okay. Ready. KZSC, thanks. Bill the Oyster Man! <laughs> <laughs> Bill the Oyster Man! <laughs> offers oyster bars for your special events, serving up many variety of oysters, clams, or mussels. Bill the Oyster Man! Pains as he teaches you about the facts and fallacies over his bivalve kingdom. You can schedule an oyster bar or learn more about Bill the Oyster Man! <laughs> website BillTheOysterMan.com <laughs> Bill can also be reached at 831-476-4187. And in reading that, it makes me feel that we got to go. we got to go. we got to go. KZSC Santa Cruz Bushwhackers Breakfast Club. I'm Dangerous Dan. I'm Sleepy John. Steven Kent, thanks for joining us here on the Lonnie is going to bring you a little something extra here on Lonnie Ops. Stick around. But right now, we, we got to go. go.